Hello, good morning, guys. We've got a six dogs to feed this morning. Let's adjust the camera. There we go, it's a bit better. Right now, this morning we are going to be feeding them Vince the Vet a uh, complete turkey. It is balanced with a turkey offal as well. So the whole thing consists of, let's read from the back, minced turkey carcasses, extra turkey meat, and turkey offal. The offal within this is 20% okay and that's heart liver and kidney yes I know heart is a muscle meat but it's listed within the offal purely because it's feline friendly as well so obviously they want people to know that it does meet the nutritional levels for taurine as well right now it's that easy package to, to take off really professional packaging just like you find our meats in, in Tesco or something like that. Right now, it's really easy. The best thing that we that you can do is to weigh them, get some self sell some scales. I prefer these just purely because it's easier to put put back to zero straight away, and doesn't need batteries. So right now, first up is Molly. Now Molly. She needs 220 grams a day just to maintain her body weight and we do feed them twice so right now it'll be 110 grams and luckily enough one kilo of this food does all six dogs Each of these dogs are currently having supplements as well, purely because four of them, which is Molly, Callie, Brogan and Bailey, have been dry fed for quite a while. So by all means, I just want to give them that little bit of a nutritional extra that they've not had. So in the morning, now, I'm going to be giving them the Vince the Better Vitality, which is just a blend of spirulina and chlorella. Now, by all means, on the sub, this basically provides a concentrated source of many essential nutrients, promotes health, energy and vitality, soothes itching and inflammation, and aids the healing and recovery from injuries and illnesses. Okay, all these supplements by all means they do come with a, with a free vet support as well by Vince McNally, and I will uh, pop his details below this video, as does the food. Now, by all means, these dogs are just getting 5 grams of this a day. which I've got marked out on the spoon and in the evening I give them the immunity supplement which I'll show you in a second now the immunity is the ingredient itself is well it's three natural ingredients okay which is uh, where's it gone that other side, there we go. It's a powdered blend of Echensia purpurea. Probably pronounced that wrong, so I do apologize. So it's a full plant and the root and organic kelp. Okay, so you'll see there. So you can probably try and read it because I cannot pronounce that for love and the money. So I'm focusing on it. No, camera's rubbish, so I'll just put the details underneath this video. All right now. The moment, like I said, all the dogs, by all means, they've been, the four of them, the Molly, Bailey, Rogan and Kelly, they've all been dry fed with the occasional bits of raw thrown in. Now Simba and Apollo, they've been raw fed for, for quite a while. If your dog is transitioning, then by all means please stick to a single protein um, initially uh, for at least two weeks. That way, if there's any form of intolerances, you will know. And keep it simple, by all means don't put any form of supplements in um, straight away. Purely because your dogs need to raw and it might take them a while just to get used to eating raw itself. 
Right, now, I've just added in there just a bit of olive oil, just a dribble of each, and in the evening I'll put coconut oil in. Um, but yeah, that's my, that's just morning's breakfast. By all means, you can mix it into the food, um, but I find it does make it all green, and it, some dogs it does put them off. But yeah, that's everything. Uh, I'll post the vest details below this and the ingredients for supplements as well. Okay, thank you.